Hi, welcome to Whitey White Guy Show. I'm Whitey, and today I'm going to review the film Major League Three Back to the Miners, which is a waste of time, and I'm going to discuss it. So, Major League, which came out in 1989, had Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, Wesley Snipes uh, as your core three guys, and then a whole slew of solid secondary characters. Um, Dennis Haysbert was in that one. Andy Roman, Romano, just a bunch of guys you've seen in other films. And, but it was it was Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, Wesley Snipes. Those are your three big names, and then a lot of recognizable names beyond that. And it was a play on the old crappy baseball team slash sports team in general with a bunch of kooky characters, and then they bring it all together to win the big game at the end of the film. And they do. And you know you know they're going to. And it's a family-friendly chuckle fest. And the film itself isn't that great. It's not going to be. It's a tired old formula you've seen before. But it's a fresh take on a tired old formula. And the, the actors themselves make it enjoyable. The writing is fair enough for what it is. <clears throat> Believe it or not, there's a better and a worse to these. But the, the you know, Tom Berenger, Wesley Snipes, Charlie Sheen, Charlie Sheen, they make it fun. They made a second one in 94. Same exact movie. They brought back some of the actors. They couldn't get them all. Wesley Snipes they couldn't get, so they brought in Omar Epps. Randy Quaid was in the second one uh, because the guy who plays, they couldn't. I guess they couldn't get the guy from Scrubs who plays the janitor in 1994. And like, really? Okay. So they got Randy Quaid. Hey, Randy Quaid. The second one had a few fun moments in that and a few clever ideas, but it didn't have the magic of the first one. And by the time we got to the third one, back to the miners in 1998, you were scraping the bottom of the barrel. Scott Bakula is the manager. Um, I'm not going to remember his name, though. What's that dude's name? Ted McGinley from Revenge of the Nerds and a whole bunch of stuff. He was in... Um, uh, married with Children is the neighbor, the second neighbor. If you're not familiar, back in the day when Full House came out, if you watched the pilot episode, there was some guy there who wasn't Bob Saget. And he got replaced by Bob Saget. And you think, Bob Saget, eh, no major talent there. Believe it or not, Full House, as much as I hate that show, and his nails on the chalkboard is every piece of delivery and all the writing in that show is. When you watch the pilot episode with the other guy and then you watch the, the rest of the show with Bob Saget, there's actually a better and a worse there. And that's what this is. This is like, is, is, is not good as the major league films are. The first one's Bob Saget to the other guy. So the first one had some charm. It had it was fun. It had some je ne sais quoi. The second one, ah, wow, wow, it's a couple fun moments, but not much there. This is like holy shit, wow. The only it, it's the same film. Crappy baseball team, crazy kooky players. They bring it all together. They win the big game. Same thing. And you got some villain who wants them to lose. So you're rooting against you're rooting for the good guys against the villain because the villain's a jerk. Same movie, um, but it's minus Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, Wesley Snipes, so it doesn't have the same charm. The second one brought it brought back Tom Berenger and Charlie Sheen, and they couldn't get Wesley Snipes to bring Omar Epps, and then so it was those those three guys, and then a a, a whole array of Dennis Haysbert's. And Eric Brescott are some Japanese dude in the second one and all that stuff. And they're fun as little ancillary characters. But your core three, Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, and Wesley Snipes made the film work. Those guys are great. But this film won because of those two guys. Now they're gone. You can't afford to get them back. And now it's then there's the other guys who they brought in. Eric Brescott and the Japanese dude in the second one. And now... The backups are gone, and you're down on the third string. I love me some Eric Prescott, but he can't say this guy. Um, the Japanese dude from the second one, I could give a shit. He's back. Like, anyone cared? 
at all when you didn't bring back Wesley Snipes and Omar Epps. And I like me some Omar Epps. I'm like, ah, oh. couldn't get Wesley Snipes back. He was off making White Men Can't Jump or Blade or something. So this one came out in 98. And the only thing to mention about it is that Walton Goggins is in it. And the guy who plays Lemensky, Lou Lemensky in The Shield, they worked together on that show a few years later. Or right around the same time, maybe. Like, I think that came out in 2003. So they were in this. They were both in this. And there's a few other recognizable names. Hey, that, I, that guy. You know, I, I remember him from that TV show. It's that guy. He, he went on to go make this movie. Once you get past that, hey, it's Scott Bakula. You know, from the things he's done. Once you get past that, it's like, oh, this is bad. This is bad movie. And it's the same movie, and it's tired as shit. So I don't know how many of these were made prior to 1989 in the first Major, major League. I, just from Bad News Bears, I know the theme had been done. But since Major League, you've had Mighty Ducks. Um, it's, it's a list. Unnecessary Roughness. It's a list of this formula, this movie, from different sports. Um, so now, in 1998, it's tired. It's old. It's stale. <coughs> it's like... Casey's Pizza, if you've ever had, when you just get it fresh, that's nummy. It's not great, but it's nummy. It serves its purpose. Later that day, it's like, oh, I'm going to have to think about Poontang. I'll eat this to be able to eat this. It's certainly it's doable. But, uh, and that's what this film is. So there's nothing you need to know about this movie. If you've seen Mighty Ducks, Unnecessary Roughness, the 200 films just like this, Crappy sports team, goofball characters, turn it around to beat the the better, the really good guys. You know, the traditional jocks. So, oh, I got already <laughs> uh, I've had a head cold, and now it's all, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm going to go before this gets much worse, because it's about to. I'm emptying. My sinuses are empty. Huh? Don't watch Major League 3. And if you just go on Wikipedia and look up the cast and go, oh, Walton Goggins. Oh, okay. Because that's I'm Scott Bakula. That's all you need to know. Corbin Burns. Okay. It's just, it is bad. So that's it for Why Do I Guys, Why Do I Guys Show. I've reviewed all three Major League films. Remotely interested in my opinion on the first two. They're up there. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.